Watkins lived in Manningtree in 1644 when witch-finding was commonplace around Essex. He and his associate John Stern are believed to have been responsible for the deaths of around 300 women between the years 1644 and 1646. In the 14 months of their crusade, which mainly took place in East Anglia, Hopkins and Stern sent to the gallows more people than all the other witch hunters in England of the previous 160 years. He claimed to hold the office of Witchfinder General, although that title was never bestowed by Parliament. An elderly one-legged lady by the name of Elizabeth Clark was his first victim. Matthew Hopkins died at his home in Manningtree, Essex on the 12th of August, 1647, probably of pleural tuberculosis. He was buried a few hours after his death in the graveyard of the Church of St Mary at Missley Heath. His ghost is said to haunt, amongst other local buildings, the Red Lion Public House, within which he is said to have been seen regularly. A team of investigators and psychic mediums have acquired a mission to research this further. <laughs> Are you going to leave something there on the table that you could possibly move, something like that? Well, I think um, we've got something like that here. Yeah. Assuming the table's flat. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Brilliant. 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 You get something in here? Mm. I feel something here. There's something in there, I'm not sure. Something. Quiet. Rudy? I feel something here. Come and, come and see in there. I, I think that one is, feels a little good. Mm. There's something acting in there. I feel something different in here. Over there? Over there. Yes. We should really do the protection thing yeah. before we do any of this. Yeah. There's kids running about. There's a lot of children running about here. There are a lot. There's um, I don't know what's, they're enjoying themselves, having a lot of party. Yeah, it's a nice feeling. It's, it's, not, it's mean, very it's active, like, isn't it? I did like that downstairs that much. Downstairs is a different kind yeah, of different kind of thing. It's it's I had something. Downstairs is diff totally different from up here, isn't it? Yeah. This is a nice energy here. Yeah. I think it's pretty yes. active, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, probably really that ties in with your children, because it feels nice, like light up here, doesn't it? A bit. I don't know, how did you feel? Did you, did you pick it up? Did you pick it up, Sarah? Uh, not children, but the, that, that light feeling. And I'd associate that with children, just light. He said, children, it feels light up there. They're giggling and laughing. Yeah, it feels nice, but it feels all right up there. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is there things been, um, entities been seen in here? Um, no, I ha like, I think it's just more of a feeling. This little window here, sometimes, because we're in here on our own looking up, and sometimes it feels like a shadow walks 
past this window when we're standing in the bar. But quite a lot of people have said that before. That they feel like something's walked past. It might be worth setting, setting the motion thing up down there. Yeah. yeah, the hand dryer used to go off in here at the men's toilets. It used to go off. On it. <laughs> so, because there's windows like this side and that side, this walkway used to be outside originally. Um, or was that like an internal window? That was actually, I think this part of it used to be this was blocked off. We had um, a little cupboard here, which we used to keep all our cleaning stuff in, and then behind that it was empty, and I think that's where the stairs used to be to go upstairs. <laughs> So it wasn't, there was a bit that was outside, but this was, uh, this bit was inside, yeah. So yeah, we, did, we didn't realise there were windows were there until we were able to check all the past them off. And then recently that opened up those. Mm -hmm. So it's quite hard to imagine mm -hmm. how it would have been, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you you get anything else, Rudy? Um, only the children upstairs playing about. There's mm. children upstairs running about. Um, in that shed at the back there, there was something there that I didn't really didn't like. It was right. Hiding. Um, apart from that, um, nothing else at the moment. And uh, downstairs is pretty heavy, you know. I like to relax, I'm tense. <laughs> if we can all imagine that there's a, a lovely white light in the middle of our circle, you can imagine that white light gradually getting bigger and bigger till it expands. In the name of all that's goodness and light, surround our circle in the white light of holy protection. We ask that no harm befalls or follows the protected circle and that our quest benefits all of the world. Thanks. That's great. Right, right, so what's on the agenda? What, what are we going to start with? The, uh, are we going to start with that yet? Well, um, I don't know if, you want to, if we want to split up into two groups and go in different places to see... Sounds, can, sounds all right to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking having more than one, so, you know, more than one sensitive though. I mean, you two are sensitive, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We've noticed some activity in the in the, in the uh, stable out there, <laughs> one of the stables. Well, we noticed and that upstairs. upstairs and so, so maybe if we one group starts in the stables, one upstairs, and then we switch mm -hmm. and then we can come in here with. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Is there anyone that would like to talk to us? Please make yourself known. We don't wish you any harm, we just want to talk or for you to contact us. Many people whispering at once. Right. Like that. Many, it's like loads of people whispering at the same time. Can you? Uh, be more clearer and definite, please. Please talk to us, we mean you no harm. It's like, um, it's showing me like a, um, like a, you know when you're in a classroom, hmm. load of kids in a classroom, you're taking me to a classroom, right? Maybe this was used, I, I can't, I'm, I'm wondering if this was used as a classroom at one point, many, many, many years ago. Because mm. there's a lot of children, um, uh, yeah, a lot of children playing about. Um, you know, like when we were talking earlier about that, um, feeling, like that shit feeling. That what? That, that shit feeling, yeah. like that kind of. Like, I don't know, just kind of the like, way you were saying that, I thought maybe it's like that. Like, you know, as if there were lots of kids and you were standing in the middle of them and they're like, it's almost around. Almost, almost certainly, yeah, they, they, they can do that. 
But I feel at the moment they're pulling on my clothes, you know, like <laughs> they're playing about. They're, they're very, I'm getting that kind of atmosphere here at the moment. I'm getting one uh, girl shouting at Emily. She's dressed in like a, like a little white thingy, hat, hat thing, and dark dress. Only about six, seven. Can you show, your, can you show yourselves, please? Um, Matt, can I take the photo? What is that? Who's that? Mm. You seen that, guys? Where was that? <laughs> Over there. I'm trying to know what it was. <laughs> Try it again. Does it, what does it look like when the screen's small? When well, the screen's big, there. Yeah. That's random, isn't it? Yeah. That's really random. It's really freaky, isn't it? Can you, can you do that again? Can we have another picture? Um, that was really interesting. We really like that. Can you show us another one, please? I'm trying to focus in on something. Oh, that's better. That's more clear. So it's not there, is it? It's not. That's strange. Well, maybe the night is young, who knows? Mm. Maybe we might get some more anomalies, hopefully. I'm, I'm hoping for a mist or something, you know, like all the shooting across or some kind of energy. Oh, I've got to show that. Yeah, so that's all I've got up here at the moment, was, mm. the, was, the, was the children playing around. Like this was a kind of school or play area for the children right. many, many years ago. Do you think um, it could have been used maybe as a school during the war or something? It could be, but I, I saw them dressed in... How, like, far, how far back does it I, go? I don't know, it's like Puritan outfits. But that's... Would that be... Would that, be that would be 1600s, would it? Well, what, what did the clothing look like? Like... Did you actually see them as figures, did you? I saw the girl, she had this white... little hat, little bonnet on. With right. Black... You know, like the Puritans wear. Hmm. I'm just, got, I'm just getting a name, another name, a woman's name, Mary. Yeah, I've got Mary in the stable. Um, Mary. Hello Mary, can you, if you're here, can you give us a sign that you're here? We mean you no harm. She's not coming forward because mm. of your name. Doesn't want to come forward. Well, you said there was someone else in the shed um, mm. when I was in there. I've got a very negative energy there. And um, if it's stacks that's holding her back or anyone back, because it looked, uh, when I looked at it, I didn't quite, the energy didn't feel right. You know? it didn't, I didn't like what I was feeling. So, <laughs> you know, I. I left, um, I come out of it, come out of there. Mm. We all just picked up on a male, pacing male um, bug. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was just staring at me. Uh, it's, he was he just was stood out either outside or in the doorway, just watching us. No, I've got someone crouching 
In the far corner? In the far corner, right. I had a little girl there. Right at the back, the, where the bike was. You looked round and there was someone crouching there. Oh no, I was thinking that it's the corner directly opposite the door. Oh right. Um, I had a little girl. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting told now by a little girl, I don't want to. I don't want to. She's only... She's only young. Yes, well, about seven-ish. Yeah, but yeah. she says, I don't want to. What do you want to do, darling? I'm scared, don't want to. Oh, OK. Yeah, because um, I've got a bunch of children playing upstairs, and they're around about seven. The age of seven, it's like a, it's almost like a school, you know, like a, a school playground kind, kind of, mm. you know, load of kids. And one was saying, um, one shouted out, Emily. And um, then I got, I took the photo and I got that anomaly mm. on the photo. So it could be a connection with the children, but this one of them is very either shy or she's being held back. I do feel that there's someone in the background watching everything we do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Like an authority. Yeah, and he's very, very, very strict, very stern. I, I really do get a sense it is Matthew Hawkins. Really. Mm. Do, you, do you think it is Matthew? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Right. I think it is. Unless it was very, um, obviously, being a witch finder, I mean, he probably doesn't like what we do anyway. No. Because the two of them, they're just, you know, witches. He's very, very, very strict with this little, little whether it's his daughter, his granddaughter. No, he didn't. I don't know. He didn't have their children. Or, or unless it's someone he, he had, um, there. Well, uh, she might uh, be attached to the pub. Mm. Well, I, I don't know who this is, but uh, even if it's the same, connected to the same person, but this little girl, she's, she's scared. It's so he's making us feel as uncomfortable yeah, as he possibly it. could. And he's not interested in what we're doing. He's not interested in communicating. No. He just wants us out of the way. We've got a few names out of the hat. I don't know who this Daniel guy is, but uh, whether he works with uh, uh, Matthew at some stage doing the stuff, could well be. Um, I don't know how many people were working with him. I've got three, I've got three main people working with him. Well, him and two others, so it's three. But, uh, and I've got a lot of Picked up a lot of torture around, you know. Yeah, well, he, 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 would, he was yeah. doing everything to torture the yeah. women. Everything, you know. I mean, I won't go into it, but oh, it's horrible. Well, um, the, the spirit that I was hoping to pick up on no, I don't, don't know whether he was here or not. He was actually the witch finder, and he hired Matthew Hopkins as his. Assistant. So there, there was another guy though. There's, yeah. there's three, so three main name. people. Yeah, I won't say his name because you might pick up on him. But when he contacted us through another place, he was absolutely enraged mm -hmm. that Matthew Hopkins was getting all the, the credence for it. Yeah, because he was saying it was me. It not wasn't him, him. Not him. It was me. And it is on record that Hopkins was his assistant. And he's really angry about it. And I was hoping that he might come through. Yeah, Daniel, yeah. the name was Daniel Trent, I remember now. Daniel Trent. Right, that's, that's not, that's not who. No, but I've got that name. But he might have been to it. do with it, yeah. That's um, worth saying, looking up Daniel Trent. at a later date, see if they could have anything. Daniel Trent.